Hey, yo, Sagittarius, how you doing? How you been? <laughs> What's up? Y'all got some shit going on today. For real, for real. Like, the chaser in reverse. The phoenix in the upright. The runner in the upright. And the hammer in the upright. Either they stop chasing or you stop chasing. The chaser has officially learned their lesson. Realizing that this relationship cannot suffice if you are codependent on them. You have to stand your own on your own two feet. And this person has realized that they had a lot of issues on the inside. Abandonment issues, fear of intimacy, fear of being alone, fear of being in a relationship, fear of loss. Like this chaser. Know what I'm saying? And they officially did that fucking work. You feel me? And this person has gone through some sort of renewal. Some sort of rebirth. And all they want to do is repair shit with you. Rekindle shit. They even have some sort of change. Change of heart, I'm hearing. And this runner energy. I don't know which one you in, Sagittarius. But this runner energy... This motherfucker is running to fix shit. Running to repair what was broken. They want to rebuild this foundation. Foundation. There's a new phase in this person's life, mind, heart, soul as well. So while you are wondering or waiting for a rekindle, somebody is waiting for some sort of renewal, while somebody wants to rebuild something. Y'all both are on the same damn page, mirroring each other. It's crazy, right? Twin Flames, what's up? What's good? Thank you for all your love and support. I truly appreciate it, and it goes unnoticed. And if you thought it did, I'm here to tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to keep it real raw and keep it a buck over here. If you don't like how it's being told, guess you take your ass. Toodles. But let's jump into it and see what Sagittarius needs to know regarding this situation. Because, baby, if it feels like the chasers stop ch stopped chasing and now they want to come run after you. Or maybe you were the chaser and you decided to stop chasing after this motherfucker and do the work. Why are you chasing this person? Is it the, the fear of losing them? Something that you never had before. Some Somebody came into your life so uplifting and just made you want to grow. And you didn't want to let that shit go. Trust me, we all been there. But everybody doesn't have a twin flame. But we all been around people that bring some sort of light into our life. That elevates us. Helps clear help clear up dark, dark skies. Cloudy days, you know. And you had to realize... I can do that on my own. I can't be codependent on this person to fix my happy, my sad days. 322. Someone started to do the work. You feel me? Started to dig into why am I seeking validation or why am I wanting this person to help clear my fucking days, make my days happy. And someone realized that it's some shit on the inside that I need to fix because I can make my own. I can do it by myself. I can clear my own clouds. You feel me? And someone went through some sort of spiritual growth to get to this point. And getting to this point got them back to you. What the fuck? Because it was never over with the world card. I'm telling you, the love that you have poured, I'm getting like, this is just like all 5D. The love that you continuously pour to this person. <laughs> what I can say? All 5D. This shit is higher this is above the world do you feel me like above what they put on this 5d ram and do you see how i heard i didn't even peep this my damn self do you see how her third eye is covered and it's with the world so it's like she has like a bigger vision like you know what i mean like like a magnoscope, like a magnify glass or a microscope. I'm finna put those two words together. So you might be putting two shit together and it don't it, it might not make sense, but it makes sense. <laughs> but um, it's like something in this world or in a different realm 
has been magnified to this person regarding self-love, self-care, and honestly, just loving on themselves. You feel me? And this person possibly have spent a lot of time near water or they live near water, Sagittarius. Um, but this person has spent a lot of time trying to listen. I'm hearing like listen to the waves, some shit like that. Or it's something about maybe someone is listening to a lot of that, um, what do you call it, binaural beats. Someone is really trying to get themselves in alignment. Like I'm hearing like water, like someone has sat by this water a lot to gain some sort of clarity, insight regarding this divine connection. They missed that fucking opportunity in the past. I'm telling you, somebody missed one hell of a fucking opportunity with you in the past with this Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So again, somebody had to sit there and really put things in introspection. You know, like really think about shit, really uh, reevaluate to fuck their decisions, their actions, things they probably did against you, 622. The world card is here. That's crazy. Give me more on this, uh, this Phoenix. Yeah, this person spent a lot of time in, a, in, 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 in their head. In their head. This Eight of Swords, this person spent a lot of time in their head to come out of some sort of mental in, be, me, <laughs> entrapment. Feeling like a prisoner with their thoughts, I'm hearing. Two of Cups, because this person knows for a fucking fact who you are, Sagittarius. There's nothing that's hidden anymore. <laughs> it's no, nothing is secret. They have been holding on ever since you left or you all decided not to be together or whatever the hell this situation is. And you know how twin flames come together. They come together very quick. <laughs> no, they don't last long and they leave each other for some time because they got to do that fucking work and see 10 being here the cycle is fucking complete it's time for you all oh i just got chills to connect i'm getting chills 8:22 today today is 8:22, y'all so again it's time for you all to read the benefits of doing the fucking work. It's time for you to reap, reap the benefits of all that ego death, all that letting the ego go, all of that codependency, all of that, that toxicity, those toxic bonds, the trauma bonding, those relationships, those karmic relationships that you all both were in. It's time for you all to fucking reap the rewards of all that fucking work that you all have done. Do you feel me? It's your all time. Y'all done put in so much fucking work and this possibly can be from the, the last two to eight years. You all have been in separation and have been put in so much work, have gone through a lot of different life cycles. I'm hearing a lot of changes, a lot of things with these fucking karmics. But yet y'all have never seemed to have lost some sort of 5D connection with each other. And this person has always been bound to the thought of you could be dealing with a king of wands sas uh, i mean sag uh leo and aries but this person definitely wants to fight for you five of wands clarify this runner energy that's about four five cards shit and i didn't flip about four five cards over Up a little bit. Look at that. Again, it's some shit that's going. I didn't fuck the deck up twice. I don't I think I didn't. My ass tweaking. What's this runner energy? Page of page of pinnacles. You know they call it page of materials. <laughs> page of materials. <laughs> 
in reverse though. So there has been a lot of delays regarding this 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 situation. A lot of delays. A lot of a lot of a lot of it's like you never received anything good from it, like any good news from it. It's always been some bad shit, something to delay you, to stop you all. Give me more on this, on this running. Oh, I had so many cars jumping out. It's like Spirit has so much to say to you, and this per this could be this person. They have so much to say to you, so much to get off their fucking chest because it's been, what, two to eight years. You all could be in some sort of separation for a long time. And some shit just ain't fair. All right, give me more on this runner energy. Because whoever was in this runner energy realized they made a lot of fucking bad investments. Wasted a lot of times and that's what ultimately caused them to miss this opportunity with you, Sagittarius. This person is now realizing that they wasted, they put too much time in places where it just didn't belong, where their energy just wasn't matched. It wasn't, it wasn't beneficial to this person. And they're now realizing, the runner is now realizing, I can't keep pouring my all into my fucks. They won't even give you an ounce back. I can't keep watering these plants. Pouring into them. Like you it's like you it's like somebody constantly was, you know, planting seeds and constantly watering them and not being able to eat the fruit off the tree. You feel me? Not being able to eat the food that they're growing in their garden. You know what I'm saying? So it's like all this work and I get shit, you just gotta sit on the outside and watch this damn garden. So you all can have a goddamn um I want one. I can't wait till I buy me another house, y'all. I'm going to be in your garden this time. But <laughs> you all can have your own like garden zen area. But again, this person is sitting back watching like I have planted and probably planted. You feel me? Put my seeds a lot of places. And I ain't got shit back. You feel me? Nothing in return. But yeah, I have watched apples grow. Tomatoes grow. Limes. You know, motherfuckers is watching fucking peppers and all type of shit just grow strawberries they're watching this shit they're like damn can i get a piece of this fruit can i have some and motherfuckers like no it's mine it's mine they're selfish with this person this person has a real life i didn't pour it into the wrong motherfucker i've been giving my all to the wrong people i've wasted a lot of time and that's why this person wants to come in and fucking rebuild it because they know they've sabotaged a lot of it by by continuing this sticking with other people that don't serve them give me more on this energy I didn't even realize something about this black and white can be very significant. So this yin and yang energy, duality, finding some sort of balance. Again, this person has been spying on you. They can't get you off their mind. Probably talking to their homies about you. But this person definitely watching you from afar, Sagittarius. If I'm lying, I'm flying. You'll see me flying. <laughs> I did. This person feels like shit for not choosing you with the lover's card in reverse. Passing up this divine connection. What's their intention? You want me to talk on it? You gonna talk on it? What y'all finna do, Sagittarius? Fourteen eleven. What you finna do? Cause you got a boss energy. Somebody who is coming to take charge of this situation, to clear the air, to chew you. <laughs> To choose you. To show you why they should have chose you in the first fucking place. Emperor or Empress. Flipping switch. Eh. Look how I just been my damn side of my damn rap. You hating ass hoes is mad because this man is leaving y'all. <laughs> 1444. I ain't even gonna cap to you. Oh, man. There's gonna be a lot of people that's unrequited. I think I just cut into my damn side of my mouth. Like, I just chewed it. Um, 
again feminine or masculine energy empress or empress somebody is mad because this feminine this is divine feminine decided to cut all them niggas off she don't even entertain nobody she's dealing with herself and only her mental her immediate family if it's not about her money she's not fucking with you you feel me for the masculines he didn't cut all these hoes off he don't give a fuck if you can suck a wee wee good he doesn't care this masculine is about one person only the person who has his heart so again, flip and switch the energies, 1533. Somebody has realized that you've always had the key, Sagittarius. It might have took them a long time, obviously. <laughs> Two to eight years, for sure. <laughs> took them a minute. I'm here, but I ain't, I ain't stupid. <laughs> what was that? I ain't stupid, though. I might have been dumb, but I ain't stupid. Might have been a little slow to some shit, but I ain't stupid. <laughs> And that's what I'm getting. Like, this person is coming out of some sort of depressing ass state of mind, anxiety and fear, overcoming fear to put this shit all out all on the table. It's some sort of recovery. Five of cups and fucking. Oh, shit. Five of cups in the, in the reverse. They want to come out of the gold. <laughs> You could have been icebox to this motherfucker. They don't want you to be quiet no more. They don't want to be on the house with you no more. This person wants to come near. Let me try to pull this up on the one more little roll. One more little roll. Let's see. How does Sagittarius feel about this? Too many. Y'all got a lot of feelings, huh? How does Sagittarius feel about this? Page of Cups. Shit. You know, in your heart, you've been receiving those downloads. You've possibly been seeing this person's birthday name. You know how that go. The signs and synchronicities all point to this person. You can't get them off your mind because they can't get you off of their mind. And that's just what it is. Because this person doesn't want to hide how they feel anymore. They don't want to mask it. Put this shit out on the fucking table. Because they're done hiding. They're done, they're done not saying anything about it. It's time to put it out. So 7-7 seven, seven can be significant. And I just seen 17-17. Seventeen, seventeen. So, again, these sevens can be significant. Someone could be a life path seven. Or someone could be born on the seventh. Or the fourteenth can be significant. But this person most definitely <laughs> has some sort of renewed faith in this relationship. Yeah. They can't hide it anymore. It's like it's in their heart. It's in their gut. It's on their mind. It's in their soul. You feel me? <laughs> I'm lying off flying. This moon, they can't hide it anymore. And again, they can't even hide the fact that they've been spying on you anymore. Somebody gonna fuck up and like some shit. <laughs> Somebody gonna fuck up and like some shit on accident because they're lurky and then fuck around and find out. You been watching me? You go. You finna find out some shit. Somebody finna accidentally do something that's gonna make it very obvious that they're watching you. Because they can't hide it anymore. Whatever this is, they can't hide it. They have held this in. With this eight of fucking swords, this person has been entrapped. It's like, they have trapped those feelings inside, suppressed them. They try to push them down so fucking far, but they can't hide it anymore. They can't. They can't. Tower in reverse. This is some sort of personal transformation that this person know that they have to do so again this person is coming to clear the fucking air you might have a goldfish or maybe possibly had a goldfish when you were younger i don't even know why that was significant or maybe like fishes is like your thing or something like that maybe you like fishes or something or maybe you just took the kids to the aquarium or something like that um anything else. what's the outcome for this situation <laughs> need to find out how this gonna play out how is this playing out at the end oh too many how is 
is gonna work play out for Sagittarius and their person. That's too many days. How is this gonna play out for them? What is the outcome? You got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So there is some sort of conversation that you all need to have regarding your foundation or maybe this runner <laughs> needs to break free on me. <gasps> Damn. So ultimately, this emperor or empress will have to choose between a bunch of greedy motherfuckers or the divine love. The person there, what do you call it? Split, <laughs> share a soul with. You feel me? They're going to have to choose love or the money. If I'm lying, I'm flying. Ace of Swords. And this person is very clear on their decision already. Ace of Swords been in reverse. This person has already made the decision. The sword is down. You feel me? The sword is down. So it has already been determined on which way that this person is going. And again, whatever you've done to them, you have expired them because there's some sort of meshes coming towards you because this shit ain't over. Do you feel me? This shit ain't over. Anything else we need to know regarding this energy? Four wands. If I'm fucking lying, I'm flying. Y'all are it completely in alignment with each other. Like, completely. Four of Wands. Page of, to the, the Page of Wands to the Four of Wands. This is good news coming in immediately regarding your foundation, regarding this home life. You know, there is some news that you're going to be celebrating. This is good news coming in. Give me more on this information. It's news. I'm nosy. I'm nosy. Okay. Hurry up. Just sit it down. I'll, I'll put it up. Just sit it down. Just sit it down. My bad. Give me more on this energy. Hey, now I'm up and gonna be tight lipped. <laughs> Again, you will not be fighting over this person at all. Oh, did I just put that? My bad. This five of swords, you will not have to worry about another fucking person in here uh, coming in to try to destroy or fuck up what the fuck you all have going on. There's nobody else. This person is ready to come in and... And to win at all costs if you involve with anybody. They don't even want you to even have to worry about nobody else. So they already clearing their, their, their little lineup up. They clearing their lineup up. They're getting rid of them starting fast. <laughs> There's no more. It's only one player that they want to deal with. This is one-on-one, baby. So love and basketball could be significant. But you have a long history with this person. But this six of wands, this could be past life, but you known this person maybe in your younger days. So you possibly ran into this person in your younger days when you were possibly maybe in your high girl, high boy stage. And now that you have matured, this person is ready to come in and love on you the right way. Because they have been so disappointed in the past about all their decisions. And now they have to face you and they want to bring some sort of clarity to you a reality check seven of fucking cups anything else you need to know to close this out final message this is fucking funny again funny again you all could be dealing with a leo or air sign energy 
you all have water here heavily but somebody is dead set on making the right choice and they don't give a fuck how it looks they just know that they're going to be strong confident and have the courage to make the right decision this time because they not letting you slip up <laughs> they not letting you slip out of their hands this time Sagittarius <laughs> Give me the size around here. Any size energies? My bad. Let me start over. Yeah, it fell off. Any, any energies around Sagittarius we need to know? Gemini. Anybody born on the 10th or life path number 10? Or you all could be dealing with the Aquarius born on the 11th or master number 11. Or you're dealing with a Gemini born on the 2nd or dealing with someone life path two. Again, thank you for all of your love, love and support. If you made it to the end of this video, Thumbs up it. Like it, please. <laughs> Thank you again for your love and support. I hope you gained some sort of insight and clarity. Namaste.